In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run verticals from Gun Bunch in a very special and unique way that is going to allow it to be very, very effective depending on the situation and the strategy that your defensive opponent employs. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do this is through these tips and strategies just like this one that we post on YouTube every single day. And so if you have not subscribed yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. And if you want to know whenever we release a new video that will share some information as far as how you can get better both in the offensive and defensive side of the balls, I want to encourage you to hit the uh, notification icon at the bottom right of your screen as well. That way you never miss one of these videos. All right, guys, so for those of you that don't know, I just released a full ebook on the New York Jets bunch and bunch tight end offense. You can get the full bunch and bunch tight end combo guide for 20 bucks. It's about 75 pages with about seven and a half hours of video breakdown that shows you exactly how to run this against any and every defense that you're going to face. Now, in today's video, we're taking a look at verticals and something that you can do to make your verticals concept out of the bunch even more deadly, especially if your opponent is setting zone drops. And here's what we're gonna do. So the play is verticals from Gun Bunch. Again, if you wanna get the ebook, it's in the description, okay? And I pretty much can guarantee you that you're going to fall in love with this offense as I have um, and just how simple and easy it is to just simply execute. So here's your setup. It's actually really simple. Um, I'm gonna give you two different setups today. They're gonna be very similar in terms of how they work, as far as uh, one's gonna be primarily for max protect, the other one is going to be more for um, a little bit more of a, of a, you know, just kind of a standard coverage beater. So uh, I first wanna talk about this as it pertains to cover three. Uh, a lot of people are still running a lot of cover three in this game, and the setup is really simple. All we're going to do is we're just simply going to take the X receiver, which in this case would be the tight end, and we're gonna simply put him on a streak route. And then I'm just gonna motion, and here's the, the little trick here. So it used to be you would motion and you would snap and you could basically move with the receiver. Now you have to motion him out, motion him in, and then motion him back out to get that same effect. And as you can see, this is one of the best quick throws in the entire game. There's actually several things that we can do to build upon this one little route. And so uh, that's that's really where the play starts. Now, of course, if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, I do want you to know right off the back, because um, you will see a lot of man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 21, if they are running man-to-man -man coverage and you try to throw this wheel route, um, there is certainly some windows at which you can throw this, but by and large, as you can see, they're gonna be able to take this away. Um, if they just man up the circle receiver, that's really all they have to do to stop this, but it is a very, very phenomenal read against zone coverage. As you can see here, if I run cover three, even though I have technically hard flats or curl flats that are shaded at five yards, you're gonna notice that when I motion him out, motion him back in and motion him back out and snap him as he's moving, I can typically get the ball out there. Now, uh, right there, I end up throwing it a little bit too late, but as long as you see that cornerback back off at the snap of the ball, you're gonna be able to throw this ball with a lot of confidence, knowing that you've made the right decision to be able to get rid of the ball quick and easy as a basically an easy little layup throw that you can hit. And again, you know, you might need to test this out a little bit. Sometimes he might need to clear a little bit depending on his own. Let me show you this one more time. Uh, and again, again, you can just motion him out, motion him back in, and then just motion him back out. And then as you will see here, you're just gonna let him clear. And then basically it's an outside pass lead. And as you can see, it's a very simple little dot against the cover three. Now, where this play becomes, I think, phenomenal is the fact that it can really work against any deep coverage that you're gonna face. So for example, we're gonna go to cover four drop here and the window at which you're gonna throw it is a little bit different from cover four drop than it is from cover three. You're gonna have a little bit more of a window at the beginning here. So again, just snap him in motion, get him out. And as you can see, this is a nice, easy laser right off the bat, just a little quick hitting passing concept that you can really use to move the ball up and down the field. Now, another tactic that people will employ, especially on a gun bunch, is that a lot of people will deep half their outside 
outside corners. And the reason why they're going to deep half these outside corners is because they want to prevent it from getting bombed. And so you can see here that if they deep half, you can actually wait on this a little bit. And, and Jair Alexander made a phenomenal play there. But you can actually wait on this route a little bit longer to develop. If you see that those corners are pinching in early, obviously you can throw it in the same window. You can throw it quick and hot, um, just like with anything else from this formation. But if you wait a little bit, if you notice that these corners are kind of pinching in and you just wait a little bit for him to kind of get a little bit more separation, you're going to see here that you have this little pass lead right up top. That's a very clean little dot against the cover three invert which leaves cover two and in this example i have the cover two zone set to 25 yards which means the cloud flats are going to play at a 25 yard depth and so there's really two options here with this i do want to show both of them to you the first one is that standard quick hike throw you'll see here that this is a little bit of a tight window and it doesn't always go for as many yards because the cloud flat is kind of already sitting on it but you can hit that route that was a cloud flat and a curl flat in combination with one another and you certainly can hit that route for about five to ten yards but the better window to hit especially against a cover two style defense is if you can get a little time in the pocket and just wait a little bit he's gonna clear over the top of that cloud flat and this could be a one play touchdown against cover two as you can see it's a phenomenal dot if you wait on it just a little bit now, as you can see, there's a lot of power to this play as it pertains to man to zone coverage, but you might be asking, well, what do we do in the situation where somebody just simply takes their slot, uh, their slot linebacker here, their slot corner, and they just man him up onto the circle receiver? Well, if they don't man up the outside guy onto the circle receiver, so like in this example, you're gonna see I'm manning up the linebacker, you will notice that based off of just leverage alone, you can hit this out here quick and get up field for several yards. So that is a little bit that you have going for you. For example, let's say that they go to that cover three sky again, and this time they're gonna basically be taking the, the slot corner now, and they're gonna man him up. I just wanna show you kind of the differences uh, between the two. If you man up the linebacker versus the slot corner, you see both windows here, but the slot corner is a lot more consistent at being able to stop this. So that's just something that you need to think about as you look to some of the adjustments that your opponent might be making. But a very simple adjustment would be, of course, to take the slot and put him in man coverage onto the circle receiver. And so that's where kind of the secondary reads start to come into play here. What you're gonna notice is this running, uh, this little quick streak up the seam to the tight end is also very effective. Another thing is you have this nice little crossing route and both basically the vertical routes are, are essentially clearing uh, clearing a window of opportunity for you to be able to hit that. Um, another thing you could do, like let's say that you're running some kind of Tampa 2 style of play, you notice that this crossing route to Devontae Adams is actually a rather deep crossing route. Um, it's going to get upfield relatively, uh, I mean, it's just going to get into a very deep part of the coverage. And you also have a nice little seam route to the tight end. So if they have their yellow zones underneath here, you're going to be able to potentially throw this over the over the cloud flat right there. I accidentally hit the low ball button, but you can potentially throw this over the over the cloud flat on the left side as long as you uh, you know just wait for it to clear. But what you'll see is Tavon Austin. Or I'm sorry, Vada Scantling on that square receiver is going to clear some lanes and basically just simply clear it out a route. And then you can essentially throw this up and over the top of the zone drop in that specific area. Now, a lot of times that's going to leave essentially a two-man combination for the user to user. He's either going to use the tight end or he's going to use um, the, the receiver. Now, in the event that they run a Mabel coverage, okay, I want to show you that. So right here in this example, we're going to run a little bit of a Mabel coverage um, with, man co with cross manning onto the circle receiver. And again, you're going to see that this is just a phenomenal read because essentially, if they take everything else away, you can essentially playmaker that running back open. And as you can see here, he's going to be able to eat up a lot of the yardage underneath now if you want to put that running back on an option route you're more than welcome to do that as well because against zone coverage he will settle up and will curl up however if they run man coverage i do want to show you this because man coverage is going to be kind of the go-to strategy for them as far as how they're going to defend this so if they go to man coverage what you're going to notice here is again and even here you'll see if i motion him in and then i motion him out i should be able to still master that little motion snap just like that right there. But you take a look at that running back. He's gonna, he's gonna almost always cut to the left side. And as you can see there, a very nice little read for you to be able to hit the running back against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if you wanna get the full scheme, this is just a little bit of a preview. And I'm gonna show you a match protect setup here in just a second. But if you want to get the full scheme, 
it is available in the description there's basically a way that you can get just the gun bunch if you just want to run gun bunch if you just want to run bunch tied in there's that ebook down there below as well and then if you want to run both of them together um, essentially individually the bunch guide is 15 bucks the bunch tied in guide is 15 bucks but if you buy the bunch and the bunch tied in guide together it's just 20 bucks in the description so it's going to teach you everything i know from the new york jets playbook now the last thing that i wanted to share with you today is a max protect version of this of this play this is more for when you have a playmaker receiver but we're just going to block the running back we're going to block the triangle receiver here which is the running back and the x receiver which is the tight end and then all we're going to do is we're going to simply put the square receiver on a drag and we're going to motion that do that same motion snap technique with the circle receiver and what you're going to see now is now we have very good pass protection if it's man coverage you're going to basically look at that crossing route or if you're in mutt i would recommend having a playmaker on that solar receiver so that you can easily work that combination as well but this is still a very effective passing concept against zone and still a very effective concept as well against man that crossing route is actually really good this year you're going to be able to make that a, a very very powerful uh, little little concept here and again you can always playmaker even if you don't have a playmaker you can certainly playmaker that drag up against zone so thanks for watching this video guys if you have any questions you can shoot me a text message my number is 208 218-6900 and just a quick reminder if you want to get the full gun bunch offensive guides a phenomenal resource phenomenal guide that can really help your gun bunch improve um, it's basically been labbed and tested against some of the best players in the community and also i've taken resources all across uh, the community for this to put this gun bunch together I've been running the gun bunch since madden 2012 so for several years this has been the best offense and once again i believe it is certainly one of the best offenses in the game this year so if you want to get that full ebook it's available in the description right now you can get the bunch and the bunch tight end bundle guide for just 20 bucks thanks for your time and i hope you enjoyed the video